guests. Give Local Tucson is our program designed to recognize local nonprofits and organizations that make a real impact on our community. We donate over $1.5 million in media exposure per year, and our May recipient, the Southern Arizona Law Enforcement Foundation, has been protecting our protectors for over 15 years. Now, here to tell us more, Executive Director Bonnie Faircloth, along with Officer Jimmy Rizzi from Marana PD, Officer Anna Baruby from Tucson PD, and Assistant Chief Bob Sommerfeld from UAPD. Thank you all so much for joining us here. Thanks for having us. Pleasure to have you. Thanks for taking time off of your busy schedules. I know you're out there on the streets, of course, protecting us every single day. Mm -hmm. So, Bonnie, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about SALEF and maybe what was the original idea behind it. So, so the Southern Arizona Law Enforcement Foundation was originally named Tucson Police Foundation. Uh, we started back in 2003 just as a way to uh, recognize, thank, and keep our officers protected. We created a foundation um, and started to present some uh, community events um, throughout the year to get um, the community and the officers engaging positively and, um, and then an opportunity to also raise some money of to course. get them the things that they need. And it's a wide variety of events is the fact. So tell yes. us about a couple of them that you've done. Sure. So we have one coming up here in the summertime, which is the Back to School Safety Fair, which yeah. will take place in, at the end of July as the kids go back to school. We have the Unsung Heroes um, event um, um, up in January up at Ventana Canyon. Mm -hmm. We have the huge Cops and Rotters Car Show, which is pretty much the largest one that we have in Southern in Arizona right yeah. now so that attracts a lot and um, opportunity to raise a bunch of money there too. So much uh, to do so many activities mm -hmm. of course involving the community too is such a big uh, way to reach out and, and show them that you guys are just people too yep. you know that's the idea is a lot of people yes. don't think about it that way of course you've uh, given a lot of gear to officers as well even yes. the canine companions right? Yes the canine officers um, we've been able to not only purchase canines mm -hmm. for TPD but then also the gear the vests and and some uh, sensors and um, alarms that, ha that are in the vehicles to just to make sure that here being in Arizona, if the AC goes out, it lets the officers know that if they're in distress to get them out. So um, save them in, in that aspect yeah, too. Essential mm -hmm. gear for yes. the officers to do their jobs, of course. So let's meet the officers that came here today, starting with uh, Officer Barubi. Tell us uh, how long you've been serving and why you decided to get into it. Um, so I've been with the Tucson Police Department going on 13 years, but I started as the crime scene unit and then eventually progressed on to police officer. Excellent. Nice mm -hmm. to have you here. Officer Thank Jimmy you. Rizzi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I've been with the uh, Marana Police Department since 2014. Uh, prior to that, I was a corrections officer. I worked for the Pima County Sheriff's Department for about two years, uh, and then after that, got into law enforcement. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Assistant Chief uh, Sommerfeld. Uh, I've been with the University of Arizona Police Department for 32 years now. I originally started <coughs> out in law enforcement in the Air Force, and when I got out of the Air Force, I really liked interacting with the community, public, and the diversity of the work. And I liked what the University of Arizona Police Department does, so I enlisted with them. Right. Well, it's nice to have all of you here, like I said. And, mm -hmm. and Bonnie, of course, uh, the Tucson Police Foundation now, Southern Arizona yes. Law Enforcement Foundation, really was for TPD initially, yes. but now you're welcoming uh, other officers into the fold. Yes, we, are. we changed our name to better define um, the opportunity to assist um, all the Pima County or local Tucson area local uh, um, law enforcement agencies because mm -hmm. they will have needs just as well, and now we have that opportunity to do that. That's excellent to yes. bring everybody into it. Yes. And so uh, this is just a general question for any of the officers who'd like to answer it. How has SALEF uh, really helped you in your mission to do your job? Well, I guess I would have to say, because I've been in the program long enough, um, that we the funds have been used, I know, to provide training um, opportunities for us, equipment opportunity for us, but I think one of the biggest one is giving us the opportunity to, to interact with the community in a lot of these local events and yeah. being out there with the community is what makes it great. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. officers open to you. Uh, what, what do you think it's going to do for you going forward? Um, I know that it's a great organization. Uh, they're providing funding for uh, vital training and equipment that we need out there uh, for us to successfully and safely do our jobs. So we're grateful to be a part of SALIF. Right. Uh, we've just recently partnered with SALIF and in the <coughs> past couple months they helped us recognize one of our officers with the Unsung Hero Award, Lieutenant David Caballero, with the work he does mm -hmm. outside of law enforcement. Devil Pups, Marine Corps League, Police Officers Association. Uh, recently they held a canine walk for cops on campus, uh, helped us gain recognition and support for our canine officers. So it's a great organization. It is amazing, and that's why they're our community partner for the month. Of course, Give Local Tucson, like I said at the top, uh, all the great work that you guys do. Uh, it's no wonder that we're recognizing you. So on behalf of KGAN 9, CW Tucson, 
all of our sister radio stations. I want to present you this certificate as our partner for Thank this month. Thank you so very um, much. For everything that you do. It's our honor and um, you're providing us with an opportunity to gain awareness within the community that we exist and uh, the good work that we try to do to help protect our officers. And it's very important work and of course Thank a Cop Day is coming up. Yes, uh, it what, is. What can people do to support the cops? So Thank a Cop Day is this Thursday. Um, it's an opportunity to just walk up to an officer and say thank you, give a wave. Um, you can go to any police station, local police station, drop off a thank you card or, or note, um, pick up a Thank a Cop bumper sticker. Um, we have several uh, local restaurants and businesses donating food items that the foundation volunteers are going to be delivering breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we thank those businesses and restaurants for that. I think the officers are going to love it. Oh, yeah. I mean, donuts <laughs> are always welcome, right? I mean, let's go really quick down the line. Favorite food so people know. Officer Baruby. Um, coffee at Starbucks. Coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> In-N-Out Burger. In-N-Out Burger. Pizza. Pizza. Yeah, can't there go wrong go. with pizza. If you see these officers, get them what they want. They deserve it. Pretty Thank much you all guys. that's coming. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here Thank today. You, Thank, Thank you. you. Absolutely. Now, Salef's Thank a Cop Day invites the entire community this Thursday to honor the brave police officers who serve us every single day. To learn more, log on to protectingourprotectors.org or call 520-207-2878.